Have you seen Miniature Wonderland? Nope. This is the world's largest model railway. Oh. It's in Germany, and it's got it, it got like several different kinds of cities that are. Um, let me let me pull it up here. Yeah. So anyway, it is the largest uh, uh, model train thing uh, scale in uh, all of uh, all of the world, oh and it God. has several cities in it. It's several. Um, uh, cars and uh, trains, and it, it's just an amazing thing. So, oh, poor soul set that up. Yeah, poor guy it, or woman. I'm not saying I, I don't know who would set it up, but that's that's meticulous. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Well, you know what though? I could look right here. You could, you could, or and I'll look right here. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. All right. So let me get super close because I'm I'm old and yeah. Yeah. Let's see. For 10 it. years now, the world's largest model railway can be found in Hamburg's historic Look warehouse there. district, a mammoth miniature project. It took 500,000 working hours to create this incredible miniature world on 1300. Yeah, look at that. And just look at the detail Wait. in here. Okay, so so I thought I was watching something that was like live and like I thought they were going to show it and like and this was based on what you just saw. What we've been looking at is the replica? Is the replica. That's crazy. You, you ain't seen nothing yet. Let's keep watching. Square meters. The city's most popular tourist attraction fascinates over one million people a year. Oh. And it's continually growing. Eight what? different sections connected by 13 kilometers of track installation provide an unforgettable experience for all ages. Whoa. Tons what? of steel, wood and plaster form the foundation of this extraordinary exhibition. The journey leads through Scandinavia to Germany, yeah, that's, that's cool. from Austria to Switzerland, so and like, far away to America so, in just okay. a few... So, so listen, I've been watching uh, Thomas the Engine, Thomas the Tank Thomas Engine, Engine yeah. on, uh, on, what was it, on the, I think it's uh, Amazon Prime video yeah, yeah. With, uh, with Alexander. And yeah, this blows that out of proportion. This yeah. is this is crazy. This the is only the thing, real deal, bro. This is crazy. All they need is uh, is George Carlin, back. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, no one, I, I <laughs> anyway. no one did it like George Carlin. No, did. listen, yeah. Uh, yeah. So hearing him on the Thomas the Tank Engine, now as, as I'm older, right, I'm like, right. and I know who that is. I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm like, um, <laughs> like part of me is like, he's gonna drop an f bomb, <laughs> like. <laughs> On Thomas the Tank Engine, don't do it, George. There's seven you can't say, apparent, according to him. Oh, man. Yeah, no, I saw that. Yeah, I saw yeah, that, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, this is crazy. All this right, keep crazy. going. This yeah, is... Yeah, yeah. Man, look moments. at that detail, dude. Each day, 900 trains with 12,000 wagons travel a distance of several hundred kilometers. The longest train is 14.51 meters long. Why? On the North East Sea, with a water capacity of 30,000 liters, large and small ships are cruising. In what? Scandinavia. Why? This is crazy. This is so like, man. <laughs> I feel like it's that dude that was hobbying in his basement, and and his his wife was like, "Hey, you gonna do that? Get out of my house and do it somewhere else." And he's like, <laughs> "Fine, I'm gonna do it somewhere else." And yeah. And and he's made so much freaking money doing this. Is this is like a legit attraction? Though. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's in Germany, like I said, in Hamburg, I think. My God. America, at the airport, and in the cozy fictional town of Knuffingen, 250 computer-controlled vehicles are on the move. Special attractions are the fire runs, controlled by a sophisticated software. What? The fire brigades are constantly engaged in firefighting procedures, but the police are also busy tracking down traffic Get offenders. Out of here. The newest attraction of the miniature wonderland is so the even Knuffingen those guys airport. Aren't even safe from After six exactly. years. Exactly. Even the fake cars are not... Man, yeah. they must have pulled something from Montgomery County then. <laughs> <laughs> they, man, that's crazy. Man. ...of development and a cost of three and a half million euro, the world's probably smallest commercial airport opened in May 2011. On 150 square meters with more than 40 airplanes and the ground stuff that goes with it, it may be the world's most advanced flight simulation. The ground stuff that goes From the technology yeah, hangar to the air terminal, every little detail has been faithfully recreated. Without a doubt, the attention to detail is at the heart of the layout. Over 200,000 figures show life in all its facets. 
It's a world where the law chases criminals and where some don't really care. Where the fire department puts out a large fire and the new fire starts not too far away. Oh, oh man, that's not, we gotta, oh, and right to that. Okay, cool. So, dang. Yeah. I don't know, man. That's a lot of time. How many hours? 5,000? 5, 5,000 at least. That is... That's a generational thing. Yeah. That's yeah. something you will to your... Your, your grandchildren. Your, or your children, and then yeah. they just carried on. Right, like, right. Hey, what'd your, what'd your granddad do? Well, he made the biggest, smallest <laughs> train station. Yep, yep. And the smallest airport. And the smallest airport. Funeral oration or celebration, eat what? or be eaten. <laughs> Travelers from this or another world. Imagination oh, knows no bounds in the Wonderland. There are fire breathers, traveling animals, and surprisingly strong girls. In a world alternating between hectic and peaceful. Between wild Dude, animals some and some that were yeah. already tamed. And what? There are hunters no. and some just hunting for the best pictures. What? There are holy sanctuaries and some not quite so uh -oh. holy. Uh -oh. There Where's are people the bursting with life. Editing. Oh and my some god. Not. Everyone close your eyes. Well, it's Europe, man. They, oh, that's they, true. They're a little more lax about yeah. that than we are. Aren't in, they? Like, look, look at this America. dude. Look at this guy. Dead. Yeah, Dead as shit that. in the water, butt naked, <laughs> with blood, like so that's kind of... The Wonderland is absolutely diverse and unique. Travel from the highest mountain with over six meters, over dreamy streets to the Grand Canyon, snow-covered landscapes, through idyllic villages, to below the surface of the earth. In the miniature Wonderland, a day lasts 15 minutes. At dusk, over 300,000 LEDs ensure that the layout shines in a captivating light. Then, the nightlife of the various regions really becomes visible. And amidst all this, more hidden stories emerge at the push of a button. There are over 200 push-button actions spread across the edge of the layout, where the visitors can actively participate in various forms. For example, in a sweet way at the chocolate factory, or in the daily struggle with the pitfall of technology, wow. or in the creation of life, or with a bit too much craftsmanship. Really? Oh, they they went all out. They went all out, man. They have got, they've put so many sex jokes in is here. That, is, that a, is that like a control room? Yeah, yeah, look at that thing. It oh, takes a lot of to, to, to control that. Could you Technology imagine? behind yeah. it all is monitored by human eyes from a control console and with the help of more than 40 computers. These are controlled by a complex self-developed software. What? The miniature Wonderland is internationally well known through more than 1,000 TV reports and the 260 people on the Wonderland team are never short on new ideas. Until 2020, there will be new sections on. covering France, uh, Italy, the, the, England the and parts here. of Africa. If they can run this, know, they can run... A major thing. Yeah, yeah. They need to help out here. This is its own major thing. Bro. <laughs> That's crazy, man. Yeah. I, I wonder what's if you next? put that in your resume. Hey, what do you, you know, oh, well, my, you know, I, I run the smallest uh, train station. The small, largest, smallest train station in the world. <laughs> uh, yeah. Engineer, like, how many trains do you manage? All of them. All of them. All of them. But there's no end in sight. To convey this marvel in five minutes, impossible. Just come by and see for yourself. You will be amazed. Dude, this is mind blowing. This is insane, man. This is the, it, 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 it's, it's, it's almost too much. Like, oh, that's just, it's just too, it's too huge to grasp. Yeah. How yeah. much time you have to custom paint and custom make everything. Mm-hmm. And those jokes that they were making were so like, someone took time, a lot of time, yeah. to make those jokes. Right, right. It was, that, and that's one of the reasons I'm going to, I, I want to go to Germany yeah. just to see that. I kind of wanted him to say Dr. Jones somewhere. <laughs> what? you never seen Indiana Jones? Uh, oh, okay. Come on, I, I just wanted him to say Dr. Jones. Shoot. Just once. Just give me one Dr. Jones. Yeah. But this yeah, is great. this is awesome, man. Yeah. This is kind of a... Uh, it's it's mind blowing, really. It, it, uh, like it that, blows my it, it, mind. It 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 takes hobbying to like a lifestyle. Yeah, yeah. You this know, it, much, it it blows. Yeah. Th this is not a hobby anymore. 
this is uh an obsession. Yeah. But it's cool. It's cool, man. Yeah. Everyone has their thing and yeah, that's crazy. I bet that guy was like, "No, I do uh miniature trains." Yeah. And I'm like, "Meh." But it's like, "No, man. I do miniature trains." Mhm. Like, "All right, whatever." And, and take it seriously. And they man. do that. I'm like, yeah. "God. That's a That's insane. That's not just a miniature train thing. That's a miniature like world. Yeah, that's a miniature world. Yeah, that's not a train station. Yeah. That that yeah, that's more than the the that's more than the the Christmas train that goes around a Christmas tree. Right. That's that's a, that's, that's, that's a lot more. That's on steroids, man. Yeah, that is that is the next level. That yeah. is pro level. Yeah. 